So let's talk a little bit about the corrective exercise continuum. This is a four step process. <clears throat> the first step in the process is we want to inhibit overactive musculature. Now, because of uh, various patterns, uh, there can be some concentric overactivity, or that means the, the prime movers are, are remaining tight to use a use a simpler term and through various mechanisms whether that's the foam roller using a, a vibration training we want to <clears throat> tell the nervous system that it's okay to reduce the tension in that muscle and uh, next we move into the lengthening phase of the the corrective exercise continuum and basic static stretching we want to increase the extensibility of the muscle. We want to give the, the body a greater range of motion through the joint because part of our goal with corrective exercise is to help our clients perform to a greater degree. So we want to increase the range of motion where it's appropriate through the joints. Then we want to activate the, mus the, the musculature. So that requires... Uh, that the, the muscles have a endurance and also a degree of coordination. And we would call that intramuscular coordination. And then finally, we want to integrate what that muscle has gotten from the activation phase into a greater, uh, a greater movement pattern. We can call that intermuscular coordination. And, and as you dive into the course, you may see that represented as some of our uh, movement or some of the movement subsystems. And now when we talk about this, this process, Prentice, like the, the four, the inhibit, lengthen, activate, integrate, or mm -hmm. strengthen, I know I've had trainers come to me saying, oh, I don't want to do it with my client. It's boring. It, it takes too long. But really, like, I mean, how long or how much time would a small system like this take out of a workout? Like, let's say if we're starting the workout. Obviously, you're going to start with this before you get into the, the meat and potatoes, but a rough time frame of a quick kind of going through this inhibit, lengthen, activate, strengthen. How much time of an hour workout should you program for this? If you if the trainer remains focused, it should only take between 10 and 15 minutes to complete uh, a corrective exercise program as the warm up. The point of this is is that you're not giving you're not giving your client a can a canned warm up. This is something that is specific to their needs. It's an individualized program and we fit, if you do it properly, 15 minutes is all you're investing in that. Cool, and I think that's very, very important to know, especially if someone's paying for an hour, you should be with them for that hour. You know, don't go, oh, go run on the treadmill for five, 10 minutes, I'll be with you then, now we're 10 minutes into workout. Get with them and great, like, hey, we're here, let's start. Do you need anything before we start? Then go right through the process. Like you said, it's a great warm up. It's a great way to build even more rapport, but then also be seen like, oh, like I've, I've never seen that movement before. People are going to come to you and ask you like, what are you doing? What are you working on? Oh, well, I'm working on this, but don't worry. It's completely different for you because your body moves differently than hers, his, mine, et cetera. So keep that in mind. But 